Hello, my name is Bo Dong Ho. I'm honored to have the opportunity to give this presentation. I'm a master's student at Northwestern University in the United States. The paper I will be presenting today is titled The Theoretical Analysis of the Network Structure of Two Mainstream Object Detection Methods, ULO and FASTRCNN, which is a very interesting topic and has a wide range of uses. For example, in self-driving cars, it's used to detect pedestrians and vehicles on the road. As a basic but most of the challenging task in the computer field, object detection has received extensive attention in recent years. I will divide this, this presentation into four parts. Firstly, I will briefly review the milestones of object detection. In the next uh, three parts, I will explain the two current mainstream methods, namely one stage and two stage, and its comparison. The development of object detection over the past two decades can be seen as a microcosm of the field of computer vision. As you can see from the picture, 2012 was an important year. Object detection before this has witnessed the wisdom of the cold weapon era, but uh, that's not the point of my talk. I will focus on more recent state of art detection methods. The task of object detection is to get the classification and the coordinates of an object one stage detection uses a single CNN network to extract features and perform regression. The input image goes through a convolutional neural network to achieve the task of feature extraction, get a feature map. The fully connected layer is used to process the feature map to obtain the parameters of the tab and the position of the object in each grid cell. The Euro version one algorithm has limitations because of the size of the input image is fixed due to the constraints of the fully connected layers of the input. From the current point of view, the batch normalization layer, also known as BN layer, has become a must-have for the network. But this is a big improvement for the version two network each layer of the network is normalized, making it, making it easier to converge. Dark Knight is the core network structure of version two, named by the author. Without the FC layer, overfitting is avoided and uh, it's more efficient. The biggest improvement of ULO version three is the network architecture. Unlike version two, which focused on small details, it can be seen from the figure that the MVP value of the version three is much higher than other works of that years. At a single stage detection, you will not only ensure the speed, but also need to improve the detection accuracy, uh, especially for small target detection. For this arm, it designs anchor box of three anchor boxes of three scales. The upsampling method is to is used to achieve the fusion of different feature maps and uh, make predictions. Also, also interesting is that the version three network has no pooling layers, that's avoiding feature map compression. As for two-stage detection, it differs, it differs from one-stage detection in that it generates some region proposals in the first stage, in the first stage of detection, then ask each regression, uh, then ask each regression proposal, are you a cat? Are you a car? Are you pedestrians? Etc. as shown in this figure. The image is first uh, proposed by selective selective search methods to generate 20,000 regions of interest. 
also known as ROI, then the then the bounding, then the bounding box is used for regression and the the support and the SVM SVM, which is support support vector machine class, classifiers are used for classification. This pro this process requires three steps to this three steps to complete and the speed is too slow to perform a real-time detection. So there is fast fast RCN, which is proposed by the same author, unlike, unlike several convolution uh, convolutions in, SAR, in RCN. Fast RCN has only one overall convolutions, uh, one convolution after passing through the ROI pooling layer, the feature maps sizes are equal and then the FT layers can be connected. Then the FT layers can be connected and uh, this greatly improves efficiency. The core improvement of faster RCN is a region proposal network, which uh, which is uh, which is known as RPN. First, first the region proposal are generated in the feature map, and then the region proposal is classified into two categories. Detect, uh, determine whether it's an object or background, and then perform the regression of the region proposal in to the ground truth. Classify again to determine what is what the specific object is. In compare in comparison, Yulo has a faster speed while uh, faster RCNN has higher accuracy. Mm, due to better real-time performance, Yulo has a better performance in the field of uh, autonomous driving technology. So it's, it's widely used in that field. Thank you so much for listening.